Hey folks, all right, so today I thought I would show you something that I think is pretty cool about Jest. Jest 24 was just released, hooray! And uh, there are some pretty cool features. I'm really excited about things that are coming in Jest 25. Uh, in particular with the configuration, I feel like there's some things that could be simplified there. But there was one thing that was simplified in the configuration in version 24 that I'm really excited about. So back in September, I was working on testingjavascript.com and um, there was one thing that I um, really didn't like about the Jest configuration that uh, would have made teaching this a little bit easier. And so I brought it up in an issue. Um, the problem is that I've got two things that I want to include in my setup um, test framework script file. So these things need to happen after the testing framework has been set up. I want to have these in every single file. Um, but I, I don't want, or I want to have these run before every test, but I don't want to have to put these in every single file. And, uh, so I have a set of test framework script file, but that's all that it's doing is just, um, importing these two things. So it'd be cool if, um, similar to the setup, uh, I think, what is it called? Setup files feature where you just give an array of files that it'll, um, import for you automatically. Um, it'd be cool if set up test framework files uh, could also be an array uh, right now or at the time it was just a string that pointed to a single file. Um, so yeah, um, that was implemented um, under a new configuration option called set up files after ENV. Um, and here's the blog post where they, they mentioned that they replaced set up test framework root file with set up files after ENV. Pretty happy about that. Um, and the fact that it supports an array, yay. Um, and they have plans to further overhaul the configuration in the next version or next major, see the paragraph in the section below. So I thought I'd show you how this works and how to use it effectively in particular with uh, React testing library. So just clear all that up. Um, so we've just got a regular um, JavaScript uh, React component. Um, it's just a counter, one of my favorite examples. Still using classes because hooks aren't actually released yet. Hopefully sometime this week or maybe next or maybe next year. I don't know, sometime eventually. Um, and uh, and then here's a test. Now, if we run this test, I'll just run npx just, then it's going to fail. And the reason is that we have this to have text content, which is not a supported matcher. So what I need is to import just dom extend expect. And now I have, um, a bunch of matchers that I can use um, with Jest. And now it works, except um, if I have another test here, uh, here, let's actually, we'll just duplicate this. Um, and we'll call this one two. And then I run it again, watch this, total fail. Uh, the reason that it's failing here is because if I look at, um, let's see, we'll console log, or actually there's a, um, a thing we can import uh debug no, yeah debug dom yeah i think so if we debug dom document dot body or actually i think if we call it with nothing let's see what happens there uh okay fine document dot body and that should probably default to document dot body um okay we're gonna have to console log debug dom we'll get this we'll get this don't worry and still, oh, there it is, ta-da, body. Okay, so um, that's cool, that's what we want. The body should be totally empty all by itself. If we do the same thing in the next test, then, oh no, it's already got the, the counter in there. And so if I stick another counter here, we'll do another um, debug right after we render that counter. Now we've actually got two counters in that body and that's not good. So we need to clean up between our tests, right? So that is exactly what we're going to do. Um, so I'm going to add um, do, do, do clean up. And we'll do after each test, we'll call actually here, let's take this at a step at a time. Uh, clean up, we do that. And now our tests are passing, um, because our, um, our body is cleaned up after um, every or after this test is done. Now we want to do this after each test, right? So we're going to do after each cleanup. We do here we could do um, inline arrow function here. Blah. My goodness, clean up. 
but because it's the only thing, we'll just make it easier and just do clean up. Uh, and then we can get rid of that clean up there. And now we're, um, after every single one of our uh, tests, it's going to run that cleanup function, which is perfect. It's exactly what we want. And because it's so commonly needed, uh, React testing library includes a cleanup after each um, that we can use directly. And now we get that same benefit. Okay, cool. So with that, we can get rid of these console logs because they are annoying. And um, now, Here's the thing, I don't wanna to have to do this in every single one of my files where I wanna clean up or and extend expect, that would be silly. And so um, here's what we did before, we would add just config.js. Uh, and actually before we even do that, we'll do uh, test setup.js. And I'm gonna put these in here, we'll paste that and then we'll import test setup. And that should still work. Um, except I missed a couple dots. Okay, sweet. So that works. That's good, right? But I don't want to have to do that, um, even this, in every single one of my files. And so that is why we'll module exports from our just configuration setup, or what did I call it? Setup test framework script file. And we'll do test setup.js. And now, I don't need to have that import at the top of all my tests, which is great. But if this is all this thing is doing, wouldn't it be nice if I could just do this, make that an array, and this can be, like we'll just pull these imports directly in, blah, blah. And instead of import, we'll just list, oh, whoops, we'll list these as part of the array. And, like that would be nice, except not possible. And this is what I like. This is why I created the issue in the first place was I wanted to be able to provide an array of files that I want to have automatically included in my tests. So in the process of adding this feature, they actually created a new uh, configuration option and deprecated the old one. Uh, so the old one still works in 24, it's just deprecated. Um, and now it's called setup files after ENV. Um, which is shorter than that, so that's nice. Um, and ENV is referencing the test environment. So you can um, have some files that are executed before the test environment is included, so you don't have access to Jest and whatever. But these in particular need access to Jest because we're extending Jest's expect library and we're um, adding an after each call. So we have those and then um, we'll, we'll run both of these. So with that, I have npx jest and ta-da, magic ensues. I don't even need this file anymore. We can get rid of it entirely and um, everything is working super nice. If I do have some extra special thing that I need to do, then we can still do um, some setup thing and this will console log that up. So whatever um, it, you need in your particular situation and then we can just do test setup. And now we'll get that console log set up. Yay. Right, so that's cool. Um, I'm actually super duper happy about this because um, a lot of libraries uh, like Emotion, um, Emotion has a snapshot thing and, and you can add, um, actually, no, they, they have a special, like, there's a special config for snapshots. But like you could foresee this um, being used for the config for Enzyme or like just about anything. Uh, you just have a single file that does uh, all the stuff for 99% of the use cases, um, and people can just include it in their setup files after ENV, uh, which is really nice. And also, just has this concept of presets, so we could actually make a preset that um, includes this configuration, and people just use that preset, and magic ensues. Pretty cool. I'm pretty pretty happy about that. Um, so yeah, cool. Um, that's all I wanted to show you today. I hope that was useful. Um, I'll go ahead and. Um, yeah, let's, we'll do, we'll get rid of that test directory. Get add all this stuff. Um, we'll um, init, and then I'll git create. Um, if you're like, wait, what's that git create command? github.com slash github slash hub. That's what I'm using. Instead of git, I use hub. So go check that out. Um, but uh, yeah, so I just created a repo, and we'll git push, and I'll git browse. And 
here in a moment. It should pop up somewhere in my browser. Ta da! And I'll just paste this in the chat. You can go check that out and play around with it. Have fun. And uh, I'm going to add the topic KCD EDU. There are several repos of mine like that. I'm going to be the first one to start it. Okay, that's it for me. I hope you have a nice day. And I hope that was interesting and useful. And I will see you all, um, yeah, tomorrow. I guess you'll see me, but I'll see your avatars in the chat. So, peace.